Financial and time freedom are definitely two topics that almost 7.5 billion people on this planet really look for and, and simply strive for every single day, you know, every single day, whether if it's at their job, whether if it's at school, whether if it's whatever, right? Every single human being wakes up every morning wanting time and financial freedom. I know people that have one or the other and they're just not happy because you don't want a whole bunch of time but with no money because you just don't have options and neither do you want a whole bunch of money but without time. So in this video, I'll be sharing with you guys how you can gain both of them leveraging Amazon FBA and how I was able to gain both of them leveraging Amazon FBA. So be sure that you stay tuned. Now for the best Amazon FBA tips and tricks and advice, be sure to subscribe to this channel as I drop brand new videos every single week. Now you may say, Bashar, what's up with all this? What's up with the mask? Well, you know what? This is just a, a shameless, uh, advertising for my university, BJK University. If you want to be part of it, drop a comment in the comment section. I'll send you a link, you can check us out. Uh, it's all about, you know, never worrying about a price tag. I don't know if you guys can see it or not. So anyhow, financial and time freedom, let's go ahead and talk about that for a little bit. You see, growing up, I always thought that, um, what, you know, owning your own business was all about you know, becoming an entrepreneur and that's how you would escape the rat race. That's how you can, you know, call the shots. That's how you can be the man, be the, the legend, the myth, right? You're the person that everyone looks up to, everyone wants to be like, and that's what I wanted to do. You know, looking back uh, 15, 20 years ago, looking at my father, I admired him because he was an entrepreneur and I wanted to be like him, right? So, or, you know, just kind of automatically, I went to wanting to have my own business. But the problem was, um, I went into a business that was traditional, restaurant business. Many of you guys probably here have heard of me talking about it. So I literally went into that business and, and I, um, after about a year or so of operating it, I realized that I was more imprisoned by my business now than I was when I was working for people, right? So did I have financial freedom? Kind of not really because I really got into a business without any of my, you know, any knowledge really going in. And that's what, you know, 99.9% .9 of Amazon sellers fail or really any entrepreneurs fail because they go into something, they get overly excited. They start something without any previous knowledge, without any step-by-step -step guidance, without a blueprint. And that's where I found myself. So, you know, not only did I not have the financial freedom, but even though I did, I would have the financial freedom, I definitely did not have the time freedom because I was stuck there working 100, 120 hours per week operating, you know, managing tens of employees. And then there was just a, a million moving parts. So after I lost my restaurant in 2015, I knew that I needed to change. I knew that I needed, I started, you know, thinking about financial and time freedom. And I really understood what that meant. And when I broke everything down, you know, and, and was introduced to Amazon FBA, I personally fell in love. And I then became convinced that those things do exist because for a certain amount of time, I thought financial and time freedom are just myths, right? They don't really exist. But I was introduced to them and I became a believer and I started following the steps to become where I am today, where I can work from anywhere in the world. We are getting ready to go to a trip to Florida and nothing really is gonna change here because I just packed my laptop, I packed my clothes, and that's that, right? I can operate my business from anywhere while I'm on the plane, my business is running, nothing is pausing, nothing is stopping where in my restaurant business, you know, if I wasn't there, if the place wasn't open, like COVID hit and bam, you know, like I started thinking when COVID hit, I'm like, what would I do? It was if I was in my restaurant business, right? So, so that's why I am like, I do what I do. I'm always preaching to you guys. I'm always making these videos to show you guys the power of Amazon FBA, how you can leverage it to your advantage and what you could do to become part of it and get a, you know, kind of a small piece of the pie. Now, if you'd like to get into our uh, weekly giveaway, be sure to drop in the comment sections, BJKU, uh, for you to enter to win my step-by-step -step guide on how to sell on Amazon. So what is Amazon FBA? FBA simply stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. Amazon simply has 157 or I think 75 different warehouses that are over a million square foot all around the world, okay? So what you do is you simply ship over your inventory to Amazon, whether if it's your own private label, maybe you're drop shipping someone else's product, maybe you're contracted with some company, maybe you're selling any other shoes, doesn't matter what the product is, or what the concept is that you're doing, but you simply send your inventory to Amazon's warehouses. Amazon will, you know, capture your product and they will store it for you. 
Every time you create a, a sale, you generate a sale, Amazon will go to their warehouse, they will pick your product, they will package it, they will ship it to the customer. So you as an owner operator, you're not involved in the day-to-day -day operations. You're not involved in generating customers, which if you've done any type of business in your life ever before, you understand that's probably about 75 to 80 per, 85% of the battle. Like I had a restaurant, bringing people into that place was the most difficult thing. Like, you know, the old saying, build it and they'll come, that's bullshit. Build it and market it, they'll come, sure. Amazon does all that for you. They bring in the customer to you and all you need to do is make sure that you're putting the right product in front of them, a product that they actually want, a product that they actually desire, it's good quality and it's priced correctly. And if you do that, if you do all those things correctly, you will become successful. And that's what I had to learn over the years. Now, am I telling you it's easy? It's not easy. It's not, it's simple, but it's not easy. Everyone can do it, including you. Doesn't matter who you are, how old you are, what your skills are, you can definitely do it with the right guidance. Why did I fail in my restaurant? Because could I, you know, was I not smart? No, I was smart. I was decently smart. Was I not hardworking? Hell no. I was putting in over 120 hours per week, every single week. But the problem with me was that I didn't have the guidance. I didn't have the coaching and I didn't have the step-by-step -step, and my ego was so large that it simply, you know, took over me and I did not allow me to ask for help. Otherwise, I would have been successful with my restaurant business. The issue with a restaurant business or any other traditional business is that there are a million moving parts. You still have, it's location dependent and also the upfront investment is large. I mean, we invested hundreds of thousands of dollars to start that business, which and with an Amazon FBA business, that's not the case. You can literally start a massively successful Amazon business with less than five figures. In fact, there are ways you can start with only a couple thousand dollars to your name and really that's how I started. Now that's a lot of grind. There's a lot of work involved on your end because your capital is not very much, but that's how I started and I did it for over a year until I generated enough capital to really invest and scale my business to the next level. The other beautiful thing about FBA is simply that they do customer service for you. So if you are the type of person that's an introvert, you don't like to be dealing with customers, you don't like to be dealing with you know with moving parts of the business that's a perfect thing for you because not only is it you know not location dependent and that it's mobile and flexible but uh, you know even if you have a job you could do this on the side you could do this you know as a side hustle you could do it at night you could do it in the morning you could do it really at any time and you're not dealing with the customers now if you're like Bashar this sounds great and it sounds awesome and I want you to really walk me through the steps step by step the first link in the description is to a 25 minute workshop where I break down to you how everything works. All you have to do is click on it, watch the workshop, and then I give you everything, you know, I lay out in front of you every single little thing that you need to know about selling on Amazon and how to leverage the FBA platform to your advantage and how to simply tag along and, 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 and you know, piggyback on someone else's success rather than you creating, you know, recreating the wheel really. So with that said, if this is your first time, consider subscribing, give this video a thumbs up and share it with some of your friends. If you found, you know, value in it and if you think others would as well. I do appreciate you for being here. I will see you guys in the next video. Have yourself a great day and take care.